guys, the video you're about ready to see is what happened much earlier today. And I want to talk about how some good is still in the world. Thanks to a good Samaritan, a good person, got me out of a tight spot this earlier today. So the video you're going to see will explain it all. And till next time, come on, let's get out of here. But that's at the end of the video. I'm just now starting the video, right? I'm tired. It's been a long day. You see what I mean. Here's earlier today, guys. I went to start my truck, and Elizabeth's not out yet, and I got a dead battery. So now I'm stuck here with a dead battery. Mm-hmm. Lovely, huh? All right, guys. This wasn't going to be my vlog today, but this will be now. Mm -hmm. We just had to get a jump. My battery was dead, and Elizabeth and I was stranded for quite a few hours. And if it wasn't for good Samaritans, good people that went out of their way to give me a jump, I would not be rolling right now. We found so, a... We found I mean, a go ahead. Honey. We found a battery shop, yeah. and they were so nice to give us a jump. Like... They were so nice. I just hope it is my battery, not my alternator, because you know, whenever your battery goes dead, that's the first thing that goes through your mind. Yeah. Uh, I got to get a Coca Cola and pour all over my battery. Because the of the corrosion. Off. Maybe it's the corrosion doing it. But I'm going to let the truck run for at least an hour. So I still got to go pick up my son Justin. And I don't want to turn this damn thing off. On the plus side, we could go for a ride. Um, waste some gas, but yeah. who cares? I get paid tomorrow, and tomorrow I gotta buy a battery, so. Or Friday. They're closed yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, this is, by the way, this video is uncut. Just uncut today. Yeah. It's, uh, uh we would have walked home, but it's I, I've already literally... walked like five miles today. I already worked yeah. out today five miles, and home is eight miles away. I, I think it's more. No, uh, it might be more. But, uh, I don't want to walk home. <laughs> I don't either. I'm Just hoping leave the truck stranded. Yeah, yeah I'm hoping to charge it back up. I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping for. It should, but we'll find out. Well, guys, you know, there's still some good in this world. There's still some people that are willing to go out of your way and help somebody. Praise God for that. I mean, right now that guy was that guy was a godsend. Yeah. He, really he didn't have to come over and help us. All he had to do is just say, I got not, not, not my problem. Yeah. And nowadays you find too many people saying that it's not their problem, but this guy didn't say this. And Elizabeth and I have been waiting there. It's freezing cold too. It is. That's probably why the battery died. And we was waiting there for about, I uh, say, well, stranded for over three hours. Yeah. Um, I mean, as soon as I get home, I got to turn around here a little bit, go get my son. Yep. And because this school will be up, and I'm gonna go buy a Coca Cola and pour it all over the battery because it's got um, corrosion. Yeah. On the plus side, uh, pay it forward. Yes, pay it forward, yeah. So, guys, um, this wasn't the video plan, trust me, but it's the I video know. now. And yeah, dead battery. Yeah. What do you know about that? All right, guys, leave it's... me comments. Let me know if this has ever happened to you, which I know it has. And how you'd fix it if you were stranded and you didn't have jumper cables because they're in our basement. I will tell you this now. That gentleman that helped us, I would do, I'll make it right, Bob. I will make I it right. I would do anything for that man. Let, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Until next time, guys. Uh, i probably get a little bit more footage of the battery. And, yeah, for thumbnail purposes... Until then, we we'll catch you later. We're gonna head to Walgreens and get a Coca-Cola. The guy in front of us has a tail light out.